Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a little tip that I have found from uh, moving from Twitch to YouTube uh, to do with YouTube chat. Now, if you're like me, whether you're streaming on Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're streaming, paying attention to the chat and interacting with the chat is an important thing to do. Now, if you're like me, uh, it's easy to accidentally miss these messages while you're playing your game, while you're into the thing that you're doing. You might not always see the chat. When I was streaming on Twitch, I found a method to help me get around that. Uh, I believe there are numerous different ways to do this. Personally, I use this app called Chatty, this piece of software, which uh, basically acts as another chat for starters. So that's something if you wanted that. But the, the specific thing that I liked about it is you could assign a sound effect to go off when a new chat message came in. So I had this little ding that went off in my headphones. Uh, the way I set it up as well meant that the, the actual sound effect only went off in my headphones and didn't go off for the the stream so the stream couldn't hear it was just me sometimes it got a bit confused and messed up and sometimes it did come through but it was just a little ding uh, to let me know that a chat message had come in and actually show you here so this is chatty here that i have here uh, and i can also actually show you if i bring down this this is the um this is the audio system that i use to deal with audio uh so that i can keep everything separate it's good for my videos and my streams it means that i can balance different levels of audio so i can keep the game volume separate from my mic and i can keep the the game separate from discord as well so i can i can increase and decrease volumes of those different things they're not all together in one singular uh like stream of audio so the way I have it here is you can see that uh, on hardware input two is is my microphone that's where my mic comes through um, and then we have these two virtual inputs now one of these will be assigned to uh, just your general normal audio stuff so like any game you know if I watch a YouTube video it comes through that um, but you'll see here I have these hardware inputs of VB audio cable A and B these are the way I separate it. Uh, I think B I assigned to Discord, so Discord will come through on this one. And I think I had A assigned to uh, the, just for use for chatty so that this notification would go off. The way I have it set up in my stream, desktop audio, for example, will be assigned to the the one of the virtual inputs, whichever one I have assigned to just normal desktop sound. That'll be where the game comes through. Uh, you know, if I watch a YouTube video online, just all the audio pretty much from the computer comes through that generally that's where most of it comes through desktop audio 2 would then be assigned to say cable b because that'll be discord so i keep that on a separate thing so again i can increase and decrease the volume of people i'm talking to on discord if if i'm playing with somebody and i'm talking to them through discord uh and then obviously mic is assigned to my mic so you'll see that cable a which is what i have just the notification noise for chat come through that isn't actually on my audio mixer because i don't want that to come through on the on the stream itself that's just a notification for me that's that's the theory there so if you want to look into voice meter that's a completely different thing i'm just talking about chat notifications but i figured that little bit of background is is useful information chatty so this is this is what i used to use for twitch now it worked really well for Twitch and like I said if you go into like the the settings and you go into I think it's down in notifications here we go so for a chat message it's always enabled or an info message which was to do with channel points it would always enabled and it would play ding.wav now you can set these up here the output device is through cable a like i said uh, and that comes straight into my headphones but doesn't go through to the stream so basically that would just send me a little ding to make me you know to just jog my memory if i didn't catch it out the corner of my on my screen that a chat message has come in this sound would play uh, and then i'd know that there was a message and i wanted to read it just so that i don't you know accidentally miss somebody's chat message and you know leave them unread that was the setup for twitch um, like i said there are other methods to do this i think i think there are other applications that you can do the same thing but i use chatty and it worked well for me since i moved to youtube streaming and I've decided to go over there with my streaming stuff. I wanted to find a similar thing, something that would do the same function, but obviously for YouTube chat instead of Twitch chat. So I would have to link it to my YouTube channel. Um, turns out, apparently, that that's actually a lot more difficult. And uh, working with YouTube chat, you know, from the back end, I guess, is more difficult as YouTube don't, I guess, give as much access or it's not as easy to use. I don't know. I'm not a technical person in that aspect of things. But all I know is it is not as easy to integrate youtube chat into things and have applications integrate with youtube chat 
So, I thought for a while that uh, when I was looking into moving to YouTube, I thought I'm just going to have to get used to checking the chat more often. I have found a solution which I used on my first stream. So, if we go to this website, this website is called speedchat.com. This is what we're going to be using. So, speedchat.com can be used on Twitch and YouTube. You have to sort of connect a Google Drive and then you can connect your YouTube and stuff. So you, you connect these, you you know, allow it access. That is one thing that I was concerned about. You know, you're giving another website access to your your channel effectively, you know, like you do with a lot of things where you log in with Google, it's the same kind of deal, but you know, it wasn't a website that I didn't, I knew particularly well. So if you're nervous about allowing it to have this access, then feel free to, you know, just not do it. But I did it. I have had no issues so far and it worked for me. So what this does, the idea behind speech chat, as the name sort of implies, speech chat is a text to speech. So the idea is that it will actually just read out any messages. So you can have it set that way that any message that comes in, it will just literally read it out. You can still set it up the same way so that the the stream can't hear it but you can hear it if you want that uh, or just have it come through your normal audio and it will be in there with you know on the stream with all the other game audio and stuff if you want just text to speech so because i don't particularly want text to speech read out for every message and i don't want it on the stream and i i figured if there's long messages it's going to get confusing in my ears while i'm trying to hear this message but also hear the game or whatever's going on so i didn't particularly want the whole message read out and I wanted it to be only for my headphones and not come through the stream. So the way I've done this is if you go into speech chat control panel, these are all the controls that you have um, to do with it. So what I did was basically you can enable the speech, pause speech. You can, you can choose the voice and everything, whoever you want, you know, whichever Microsoft voice or whatever. Now, what I had is the speech format here. You see available keywords, username, message. Now, normally it would say like message from, username, then it would read the message. That's like what it has automatically. Now, you can't have it play like a certain sound effect. That doesn't seem to work with messages. Like you can't have it just literally play like a bell, like a bell ding, like I used to have on chatty. You can have like events play bells and stuff. So um, like a welcome message, like the first message that someone's put a follow a host subscribing all this stuff you can you can have um audio files linked to those really my main my main priority was just i want something to notify me there's a message in chat now the ding works like i said on the first message somebody puts but it doesn't play a sound effect after that if somebody you know then puts a second message so what i've done i've just changed the message to instead of reading out the username and the message every time it the guy just says ding it's just a guy who goes, ding. It's the Microsoft guy saying the word ding. It's silly, but it is just enough that it's just an audio notification in my ear to let me know that a message has come through and so that I can remember to read it. That's all it is. Now, this works on YouTube. I assume it works on Twitch as well because the option is there for Twitch. Uh, if if you want to use more of the speech to chat stuff or for particular you know events like it has here where you can have it for welcoming hosting rating subscribing following all that stuff um feel free to go go ham on that uh, but this video is more just about being able to set a notification sound for when a chat message comes in so that if like me you just happen to miss chat messages sometimes uh, but you don't want to you know if you're playing a game specifically, you're doing that, or I don't know, you're doing a crafting stream where you're doing something, you're not always looking at chat to see if there's messages. This little audio notification I found really helpful personally for me. And like I said, if you set it up with the voice meter stuff and coming through a separate um, audio source that doesn't go out to the stream, then you can hear it just you. You don't have to, you know, the stream's not going to get annoyed by a guy saying, ding or reading the messages every time oh the other thing i should show you briefly so the way that i got because obviously this isn't in this isn't a separate uh there's no way to choose the source specifically that the speech chat comes through the same way that you could with chatty it was actually a setting you can you can change in chatty the way i did it with speech chat is i just went to my my sound mixer you can see here here's my volume mixer so the output device is is voice me input uh v-a-i-o vio i don't know what that is that's what my normal audio comes through 
that's what I put all my audio through. So that's the game audio and everything. So what I did here was if you actually just scroll down, um, system sounds, here we go. Here's all the stuff. So you can actually just set uh, different apps as different audio sources. So what I did was I set... Um, I think I set Chrome. It's not here at the minute, but basically the same thing I can show you with like OBS is you change the output device and then I put it to like cable A. So that would come through cable A and come into my headphones, but not go out to the stream. Because speech chat wasn't currently putting audio out, it didn't it didn't turn up in the sound menu. So uh, once there's something, some sort of audio coming through, uh, you can change it in that sound setting there. I hope this video has been useful. I know it's been a bit rambly and a bit all over the place, but it's not too complicated of a method, but I've got all this voice meter stuff set up already. So if you want to look into that, if you would like me to make a specific video on how I have my audio set up using voice meter banana and these virtual cables specifically, if you want me to make a video on that, please do let me know. I can do that. It's a, it's a little bit complicated. I've had this set up for a while, so it's been a while since I've actually had to set it up. Uh, but I can definitely make a video on that. There are obviously other videos out there. So if you want to look it up yourself, uh, how to set this up. And then you can enable the uh, the speech chat stuff uh, so that you can have your little notifications on your YouTube chat so that you don't miss any chat messages while you're streaming on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, any of your comments. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.